welcome back to another Music Monday. And uh, this week we are following the trilogy, the line of the trilogy. Started last week by Falling in Reverse. Last week I listened to Losing My Mind. And although I didn't really care for Ronnie Radke to be rapping and using some of that auto-tune, I appreciate the message, and I think deeper than that, I really have found an appreciation for what Ronnie has really been able to accomplish in the last three years, uh, because of all these singles that I've been listening to came out in 2018. I just have a lot more respect for him after you guys have sent in these suggestions and given me some really good songs to go listen to, and I just... I guess maybe I'm one of those people, not that I criticized him for the things that he had done, I just allowed what I've heard about him to kind of control or manipulate my feelings or my thoughts about him, when in reality, he's just a human like the rest of us, and he's trying to get better and to make the most of his life and to make the most of this shitty situation. So, um, needless to say, I'm really excited for Losing My Life. This is the second song in the trilogy and then the third one is drugs so I'm hoping to get more context in the situation I assume Ronnie will leave it all out on the floor you know with his emotions and and you know how he's been feeling um, so yeah I'm not even gonna talk anymore man I'm on a 20 not a 24 hour fast I'm on a let's see the last meal I had was last night around 10 p.m. so 11 Midnight, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, noon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 o'clock. It's almost 5.30 here in Iowa. So that's about, that's 19 hours, like a 19 and a half hour fast. So uh, I'm feeling great, man. I'm, I'm feeling no itches, no jitters, no bugs, no nothing. So we're going to get into this and I'm going to give you my most honest fucking review. Let's go. Falling in Reverse, Losing My Life, Ronnie Radke. Let's see what this has to offer. such an epic intro to the music video is Ronnie Radke getting crucified in front of us is that like his alter ego like what is that is that a fucking demon it's it's both him it's him walking up to him but the guy that he walks to or the version of Ronnie that he walks up to has a hood on it says you've been asleep for a very long time okay is he is he awakening Again, just like I said last week, Ronnie Radke, no homo bro, but you have a fucking ripped body. Can somebody get me the number of your trainer or 
can I know what diet you're on? Because holy fuck, like, this dude is jacked. Maybe all that time in jail just allowed him to really focus on his physique. But um, already off the bat, we're kind of hearing the same themes that he was talking about in the last song. You know, saying how I lay awake every night thinking about the things that I've done and the people that I've hurt. But at the same time, my past is the reason that I'm here right now, you know, making these songs, making this comeback, you could argue, or just this whole different version of Ronnie. So at the same time, he's, it's almost like he's kind of torn in some ways, saying like, okay, well, fuck you though. Like, I made mistakes. That's the past. That's not me anymore. And I'm here to prove you guys wrong. So, yeah, God, just a heavy hitter. And I will say too, that I actually, so far, I really like the rapping more so than what he was doing on the last song. And I really appreciate that balance of rapping, but then also this format of having a band and having not, well, I haven't heard a breakdown just yet, but like a chorus and just good sounding instruments. Like it's weird how you could take rapping and then you could throw it into a band like Falling in Reverse and it sounds okay. Like it actually sounds pleasing. So yeah, let's continue. I want to see more. <laughs> Yo, that was super cool. Like, not to laugh at that, but that was the thumbnail for this video on YouTube is Ronnie looking puzzled as he's having a tea party with his daughter. That was super cool. It's like, uh, Daddy, why, why were you in prison? Uh, like, how do you answer that? I don't know if his daughter actually did ask him that question, but... That's another layer to it, is family. Like, I don't know how old Ronnie's daughter is, but what's going to happen when she grows older, or even now, if she's conscious of those things, knowing that her dad, for one, is famous, prominent, you know, makes music for a living, but then also, like, went through his fair shit of trials and tribulations and was in prison back and forth. Uh, so that was super cool. Man, I kind of want to see that one more time. Not to make light of what he's gone through, but that that's a funny little scene, a funny little cut there, so I'm gonna roll it back. It's the high fee oh, meat okay. stock up sale yeah. this Thursday through Sunday. Whole boneless pork loin, just a dollar ninety nine a pound. Honeysuckle white, fresh ground turkey. <laughs> Okay, so he's facing himself.
Fight each other. Oh. God, I don't even know where to begin. Like, Ronnie is impressive. Ronnie is very talented. I actually very much enjoyed him rapping on this song as opposed to losing my mind and I thought that the music really complimented him honestly that it's kind of weird to say because again as a band with like instruments you wouldn't think that they would approach rapping but props to Ronnie he's got that confidence in him that he can just do whatever the fuck he wants and uh, I don't know I'm, I'm more so like just really impressed with the music video too like they, they have some good music videos it's kind of cinematic in there and there's a lot of storytelling and I don't understand, like, why is he using the year 2033? Like, he's, like, forecasting his death, uh, but he wakes up, and it happens to be his daughter who's, like, grown, and he's like, well, what the fuck? Like, you're, you shouldn't be this old. Like, you should just be, like, a little girl. Um, but maybe, maybe this is something that was running through his mind. Like, I don't, I don't know what caused him to, like, get his shit together. Maybe it was going to jail but just thinking about like having kids and, and how your kid would grow up and, and see the type of stuff that you've been through, maybe that was a huge motivation for him to whether it be to get clean, to get his act together again. I, I don't know the specific, specifics of what happened in Ronnie's life, but it seems like that for a lot of people can be motivation. Like either you have a kid and you repeat the same shit that maybe your parents showed you or you take the completely opposite route and you change your life for the better. And, and we all know people like that in our life, that there was a choice and they either you know, kept repeating those same bad patterns because that's all that they knew, or there were people that recognized the patterns and were like, hey, like I don't want to ever do this again. Um, so yeah, a super interesting video, good song. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. This might be my favorite of Falling in Reverse, kind of hard to say because I really like Popular Monster and I'm Not a Vampire Revamp was a good one. The only one I didn't really care for was Losing My Mind, but Losing My Life was a solid follow-up to that first song in the trilogy. So I'm fucking excited for drugs. I don't want to take drugs, but I'm excited to hear the song Drugs. Ronnie has really impressed me from these choices that you guys have been sending in and honestly, if I didn't have you guys sending in these suggestions, I don't know if I would have ever gone down this rabbit hole and given Ronnie Radke the benefit of the doubt to hear him again. I wasn't like a huge Falling in Reverse fan from the prior stuff that I had heard about him. But again, I think all I kind of heard was the negative shit that surrounded him and I let that kind of color my thinking before actually like giving the man some credit and giving him a second chance. And I was kind of talking about this on the last reaction that I did losing my mind is it, it just kind of again brings up this idea of cancel culture where all of us humans now have access to all this information in the world and we're able to criticize public figures criticize famous people and it's it's weird because we're all humans and people like to put famous people on a pedestal like they're not humans and they don't experience emotions and the same things that we do but it's like dude they have the same fucking dna that we do so of course they do um but you know cancel culture has become so prominent 
I'd say over the last what I don't even know what to give a time frame for maybe the last 10 years but that's probably not even doing it justice really since like the internet exploded uh, cancel culture became a thing but so many people will you know just destroy the image of a famous person or somebody that has a high status job like when they fuck up people don't want to forgive them they want to define you with that one bad thing that you did and it's like it's crazy because I, again I said this on the last video it's like you're gonna say some stupid ass shit when you're 18 16 fucking dude I don't remember how young I was when I got social media but I was pretty young because I got MySpace first and I was in uh, middle school and then I got Facebook I think when I was in like seventh grade so still middle school and then shortly thereafter got Twitter Instagram and Snapchat and it's like I th there's a lot of dumb people on social media commenting their thoughts and opinions and I just watched um, a Joe Rogan podcast, so I'll probably link that up in the comments with Carol Hooven, I think her name is, but they were talking kind of along the same lines of this, of like just just how people communicate now over social media, over texting. It's it's just not what humans are meant to do. We're meant to talk in front of each other, face to face, and sort out our issues. And so like you see this now on social media and on the phones is like it's this really weird alternative way of communicating that humans aren't used to so like you just see people just like spewing out fucking hate like all the time and this just not how it's meant to be we're meant to like talk to each other one-on-one -on -one, and even if we have a disagreement like we can have a productive disagreement like that doesn't mean we have to hate each other that doesn't mean we don't talk to each other ever again and so just that that whole line of thinking kind of makes me think of ronnie radke and and maybe what he's gone through is sure he fucked up like we all fucked up. We all make mistakes. We all have bad decisions. We all have traumas from our childhood that, um, you know, influence our thinking and, and our decisions until we recognize, like, what the hell is going on. So for this guy, you know, it's just I think it's crazy that people want to pin him down. And, may, and maybe they've kind of loosened their grip. Again, I don't know. I'm just reacting to what I'm seeing right now and what he's talking about. And this is what's making me think about let the man live he's talented and he's damn good at making music like you can't refute that so you can fucking hate him all you want but man people are tuning in this video on youtube has 33 and a half million views people are talking about ronnie he's winning you're talking all that shit about him but he's making money and i think he even said that in the song so anyways that's all i really have to say kind of going on a rant there i don't want to make it too long but uh yeah, super good song. I am really enjoying Falling in Reverse. I'm enjoying all songs that you guys have sent to me. And again, I will just emphasize this every single time I make a video. Like, the support is just amazing. And I want to not only, like, keep encouraging you guys to supporting me, because I love it. Uh, it's good for the channel. It's good for just promoting the self. Like, just starting to get that confidence, because we're on episode number 10 now. And uh, I've been making some traction, and I'm really proud of that. And I just want to thank you guys for the support. So, again, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. Please tell a friend that maybe has never heard of Music Monday. Tell, tell them what we got going on over here, because it's some fun shit. Um, but, yeah, other than that, you guys know where to find me. Follow me on Instagram at Pootsie Mama. I'll put it down in the... Uh, box below and you guys can message me some suggestions that's the one social media app that i check the most so if you can't go on here message me on there but anyways i love you guys see you on the next one